Hi and welcome to video 7 of unit 4 topic 1 math methods optimization and we're going to look at another question that involves measurement in optimization but this one's a little bit different and so let's go through it now and have a talk about why and what makes it different so in example 7 the strength of a beam is proportional to the square of its depth and proportional to its width so we're told this now you might not be given this information so we're lucky to have that s is proportional to wh squared Find the dimensions of the strongest beam, which can be cut from a log of diameter 60 centimetres. So, let's start by drawing a diagram, because that's always our step one. But I'm going to slowly lose the step process here. Okay, here's my brilliant diagram, and here is the beam. Remember, it's a rectangular beam, um, because we can see it's proportional to the square of its depth and width. So we've got depth and width. This is the width. And this is the depth or the height here. Um, find the dimensions of the strongest beam which can be cut from a log with a diameter of 60 centimetres. So diameter of 60 centimetres means this is 60. So there's our log that's been cut from a circular or a beam that's been cut from a circular log. Um, so we know this. S, which is the strength, is proportional to, and I'll just, so I'll just zoom in here. Um, proportional to wh squared and that means that the strength is equal to k wh squared now my question is who who's watching this video knows what strength is measured in I don't know anything about how you measure the strength of a beam um, nor do I know my k value so actually I'm never going to find the strength all this question asked me to do is find the dimensions of the strongest beam so we don't have to find S, we have to find W and H that allow S to be maximised. So the K doesn't matter. And this is where we're going to have a little bit of faith in the mathematical process. We're going to build a solution and we want a solution that has W and H as numbers. But we can build a solution here and hopefully the K will disappear. Somewhere in the long lines it will cancel out. Let's see what happens. Now I've got S in terms of K, which is a constant. So I don't, I'm not treating that like a variable, but in terms of W and H. So I need to eliminate W or H. I need a relationship between W or H. And here it is. I can see in here that I have a triangle. And I want to point out that this is really common. Probably the most common way to eliminate anything is Pythagoras theorem. So width, height, um, and 60 gives me... 60 squared equals h squared plus w squared. Now, that's where I'm starting, but I want to make a point here. If I eliminate the w, I have to subtract h squared and then take a square root. And doing calculus on a square root is a little bit of a nightmare, and I really can't be bothered. If I can avoid it, I'm going to. Not always can I, but if I can, I'm going to. What I could do instead is eliminate the h squared because I can work out h squared in terms of w without taking any square roots. So if you see an opportunity, take it. h squared is equal to 60 squared, which is 3600 minus width squared. And so therefore, the strength is equal to k times w times h squared, which is actually now equal to this. Now I've still got a k there, but k is a constant. It's just some number, I just don't know what the number is. But I do have W, and W is my um, variable. So now I'm going to write this down as 3600KW minus KW cubed. And now I'm in a position where I can do a little bit of work um, to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and solve this problem now. Um, strength is this in terms of W, and therefore S dash ds dw can be solved by deriving and I get 3600k minus 3kw squared. And now I can let s dash equal 0 and I get 3600kw minus 3kw squared equal 0. And so that shouldn't be kw, there's no w there, just made that up. And now I can simplify this. So what I'm going to do is factorize and solve using, solve using an old factor theorem. But I could also recognize here that there's some simplification I can do first. And in fact, no, I'm not going to factorize. I'm just going to take that across because W is only in one term. 3600K 
is equal to 3k w squared. I'm going to divide by 3k because I can, and that gives me w squared is equal to 1200, and w is equal to the square root of 1200, which just happens to be 20 root 3 when simplified. And you'll notice here that the k has disappeared. So I get an optimal solution, minimum or maximum, when w is equal to 20 root 3. Now I can determine whether it's a minimum or maximum by looking at s double dash, which in this case is equal to 6kw, and at w equals 20 root 3, this is equal to um, 120 root 3 times k, which I don't know whether it's positive or negative, because I don't know if k is positive or negative. That's a little bit of an issue here. But again, go back to the context. Let's go back to, say, here. h is definitely positive. w is definitely positive. k, if k was negative, I'd be suggesting it has a negative strength. Now, I don't know a lot about measuring strength, but it doesn't make sense to me to have a negative strength. So I'm pretty sure that k is going to be positive, which looks a little bit like it leads to a positive value here. But actually, I've made a minor um, error in my s double dash because there's a negative here. So this should be negative, and this should be negative, which leads to a negative value if k is positive, and therefore a maximum. So be careful, avoid those errors. Do you notice I spotted that there? No, because I put a positive k in. It gave me a positive second derivative, which is a minimum, and I went... I'm not trying to find a minimum strength. These questions will work. Expect them to work. Look for them to work. And if they don't work, you've probably made a mistake. Now, um, I've got a strength value. Well, I've got a, I know that that W gives me a minimum strength, but it's just asking me for the dimensions. So therefore, I can say W is equal to 20 root 3. H squared is equal to 3,600 minus W squared which is 3,600 minus 1,200, and therefore h is equal to the square root of 1,200, uh, of 2,400, and that's equal to 20 root 6. So to my, my dimensions are 20 root 3 and 20 root 6 will give me the maximum possible strength of this beam. And the height is slightly longer than the width, which kind of makes sense, so I'm pretty happy with that. All the best.